family for a second. Now that middle and high schools are back in session, it's time for a refresher on the dangers of concussions. It is good that more parents and coaches are aware of them, but that does not necessarily make them easy to spot and prevent. Yeah, there's actually still a lot more work to be done on both awareness and diagnosis. You wouldn't think that. This hour, I'm going to focus more on the problems just with diagnosing them. We have learned a lot more, yeah. but we are also uh, confused about a lot of things. Dr. Subramani Sitarama of Hartford Healthcare has been on the forefront of concussion research for years, and he knows what a difference in accurate diagnosis can make. If the kid is taken out instantly after a hit, 70% of them recover in one week and 100% within two weeks. If there is delayed um, removal, which means they are continuously getting hit on an injured brain, only 40% recover in the first week, and there's at least 20% that take three to four weeks to recover. But not all concussions are the same. They're easy to spot when a player is knocked out cold, but not so much when there aren't any symptoms to start. We are trying to find an accurate way of triaging kids when they get a concussion. Or even the proper people to spot them. Only 39% of the schools in this country have athletic trainers on the sideline. And then there are problems with the standard diagnostic test called a SCAT test. It is very, very clunky to say the least, and my ath athletic trainers are unable to run the test on the sideline because it takes a long time to do it. That keeps healthy players out too long and busy trainers tied up too long treating just one player. But two even bigger problems are that some concussions come from mild, unnoticeable hits that don't lead to tests, and many have delayed symptoms that don't show up until after the game like in a soccer player that Dr. Sitarama treated. They're driving home. Suddenly the kid from the back says, Dad, Mom, where am I? Mm -hmm. And they go, what do you mean? You just kicked the, you were at the soccer game. Because no, I don't remember anything and I'm feeling really dizzy. Again, that was after the game. Wow. So it's nothing against athletic trainers here. They do excellent work, but they don't come home with you after the game. And that's the first spot where problems can really start popping up. So coming up at 9, we're going to talk about those delayed concussion symptoms you should be looking out for in your kids. Uh, but I, you don't want to be too scary here. I, I want to reiterate what he said before. If you can find the concussion, get the kid out your prognosis is wonderful. There's no reason why you wouldn't recover just like with any other injury. You guys ever had uh, hits of the head that you know of? You know, I, a concussion? I have not. My daughter fell and yeah. she had a mild concussion. Okay. When she was like uh, I think four. She just fell back from a bench. Yeah. Went to the emergency room. Everything okay? Just watched her, monitor, and things like that. Did she get sort of like knocked out for a quick second? She did. Yes. She did. She lost consciousness for about maybe two seconds. Mm -hmm. Her eyes sort of rolled up. This, sure. you know. No, but it, that's one of those things. Uh, concussions are tricky to diagnose, but there are some definite red flags. One of them, if you get knocked out, even for five, ten then seconds. You know, I, think, yeah. yep. I think the biggest fear for parents is you don't want to over, you don't want to scare your kids. You know, yep. what, what's the thing when they have a boo-boo? It's like a, they, they only get worried when you show worry. Yep. But the, the flip side of this is when you're a parent and you go, eh, you know what, you'd, that, that's fine, just, just walk it off. And that's the worst thing yes. that you could do in a case like this, especially yep. if there are some hidden dangers. Right. Like the that. scary part is if you don't know mm -hmm. your child has had a concussion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what we're going to get into. Stay with us next hour. We're going to try to give you some information to, you know, prepare, not scare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, if you have an idea for our family first, if you have something you would like us to talk about, get more information for you, all you have to do is let us know. You can send us an email at familyfirst at fox61.com, or you can use the Fox 61 News app, or you can go to the parent portal mm. on our website. All right, coming up next on the Fox 61.